Yeah, you need to leave. What? No. I'm not going anywhere. I still work here. Now is not the time for you to be working. Let me be the judge of you that. You just experienced a devastating loss. I, I've been there. I know how it feels. Oh, really? Who bribed a guy to like you? If you're worried about money, don't be. You're still entitled to a fully paid maternity leave. Plus, any aftercare you need, that's covered, too. Aftercare? You know, if you need any counseling. Oh, so now I'm a mental case. Not what I said. Just know that Fusion will totally stand behind you until you're ready to return. <laughs> you don't give a damn about helping me, Greenlee. You just want to get rid of me to keep me away from Ryan. This has nothing to do with Ryan. It's always been about Ryan. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. If you can't accept that, not from you. Okay, then I'll call Scott. Maybe he can convince you. Yeah, yeah, call Scott. Pay him to tell me more lies. He genuinely cares about you. Or maybe you could go shopping at the prison again. Find another volunteer to do your dirty work. I've been beating myself up for how I brought Scott into your life. But you know what? I didn't do such a bad thing. You've got a guy that's crazy about you. So crazy, he was willing to say he was the father of your baby. And then when that blew up, he still stood by you to raise your baby. Even after everything, Scott was there for you. You know how many girls would kill for a guy like that? Only that wasn't good enough for you. Because the only guy that's good enough for you is Ryan. Only this just in, he's taken by me. He needs me to help him through his loss. And I need him to help rebuild our marriage. So, are we clear? Not quite. I mean, since you seem to forget that you and Ryan aren't actually married. And you're not having his baby anymore. Really, that's enough. Ma Madison is grieving, and, and you just throw that in her face? It's okay. No, actually, it's not okay. I'm sorry for what I said. I know it sounded very harsh, but I was just... I was just responding to what Madison said. Did you hear that part? Honestly, nothing Madison could have said would justify talking to her Ryan, like I don't need you sticking up for me. I don't need it. Don't want it. I don't want any part of this. In fact, Greenlee, why don't you just do what you were going to do in the first place? Just fire me. Hold on a minute. You were about to fire her? I had, I have no intention of firing her, and she knows that. I was just trying to, like, <sighs> why am I even defending myself? You've already decided who you want to believe. You know, Greenlee, I want to try and figure this out, please. Um, sorry about that. You know how Greenlee is. Sometimes she just blurts things out. What did you say to her before I... before I walked in? I guess I kind of lost it for a moment. We both did. And? And... I kind of reminded her that you two aren't really married. Look, I'm not proud of myself. And... It's really not an excuse, but this really has been a very emotional time for me. I understand that. I didn't realize quite how emotional I was until I uh, bumped into Jesse in the park. What happened? Well, he, he was with his, his little girl, and it was uh, her christening. Oh. I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, I'm really happy for Angie and Jesse, obviously, you know? I just... You know what? I, I shouldn't even have brought this up. It's okay. We should be able to talk to each other, right? I mean, I know how much you've helped me. Now it's my turn. I want you to be alone. Thank you for bringing me here. I definitely couldn't have been part of the actual christening, but... Being here and looking up at the sky, I sort of... sort of feel like I was part of it anyway. Yeah, 
It's like being a part of something that's bigger than our own grief. Yeah. So when the minister blesses Angie and Jesse's little baby, he'll be blessing Sarah too. Never letting anyone hurt me again. 